Okay, I guess I'll get started uh, without further ado. Um, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Donna, and good morning, evening, depending on where you're joining us from. Welcome to the webinar on how to implement online document scanning and uploading in your web application in five minutes. First of all, I'd like to thank everyone for being here, and I'll keep this web webinar fairly short and sweet. Uh, not only because your time is valuable, also dynamic web tooling is very easy and simple to use, and it can be easily integrated into your web app in just a few lines of code, and I'll show you that uh, in a few minutes. Um, before we get into more details on dynamic web tooling, uh, let me introduce uh, myself. My name is Donna Wang. I'm a solution consultant. Um, part of our technical build team. Um, along with our entire team, we're dedicated to helping our customers um, successfully integrating our SDK into their own solutions. And I'm very excited to be here to kick off the webinar series with our most popular product, that being Dynamic Web Twain, and show you how you can take advantage of this very powerful document scanning SDK in your application. And I hope you enjoy the webinar. And we're scheduled for 30 minutes today. Um, if everybody can stick with me and we can power through this, maybe we can, um, at the end, give everybody a couple minutes back into your day. Um, so let's take a look at our agenda today. Um, first of all, I'm going to show you a very, very quick online demo to get your interest picked up and what we're going to be talking about later on, and then I'll show you the magic behind the trick with just five lines of JavaScript code. And then we'll dive into more details about dynamic web tooling, um, give you an overview and uh, some highlights and features about dynamic web tooling. And uh, we'll also be touching base on pricing a little bit for those of you who are interested in um, Moving, uh, proceeding with this SDK, and you can try yourself. I'll show you how to start uh, with your 30-day free trial. And at the end, of course, we have questions uh, at the end. Okay, so I'm going to switch from um, the PPT to our web online demo. As you can see here on this web page, this is built with our Dynamic Web Twain SDK. And in the main, um, um, in front of you, you can see the viewer, which is empty right now. And on the left-hand side, you see uh, document editing icon. On the right-hand side, you can see over here where you can select your source with a couple of very basic scanning settings that you can do. And we're just going to go ahead and perform a little scan. Um, I'm in a conference room at the moment, so I don't have my usual scanners connected to my machine right now. So I'll do the uh, virtual scanner, which works the same. And we'll do color. And we'll stick with 300 for the resolution. And we're just going to click scan. And this works. So normally, if you're connected to a physical scanner, this will initiate the scanning process. And you will see whatever goes through your scanner will show up in the main viewer here. And we can also load in existing documents and images and different files here. And um, let's try a um, PDF file here. And you can see it's being appended at the end. And I'll bring this up here so you can see what I'm doing here. And I'll try a TIFF file. Just a couple of funny images. There is your CAT scan. And also, you can save documents, whatever you have, in the buffer um, in the viewer here. We support multiple file formats. You can change the file name. Here, um, we also support multi-page PDF and multi-page TIFF files. And uh, you can save them locally. 
celebrate at the file explorer or you can directly upload them to the server and these are the files that were uploaded okay let me go back to our uh, main demo here okay so now you've seen a demo of dynamic web twin uh, let me dive in a little bit more about what dynamic web twin is Um, I guess before that, I'll show you the magic trick first. So, the demo that you saw, the main gist of the code is what you see in front of you, literally with five lines of code. You can implement document scanning in your web application. You simply define the object. By default, it's called DW object. And the second line of code is for good practice. It's disabled source after acquire. We uh, recommend disabling the source after you finish scanning in order to avoid any conflicts if you have other applications using the same scanner. And you can choose the source, whichever one that you want to scan from. And you open the source. And then you acquire an image from your source. And it's as simple as that. Of course, it, it can be very powerful. Uh, we'll get into that in a little bit. Um, so here's an overview of Dynamic Web Twain. It is a browser-based document scanning SDK, specially designed for web applications. And as you saw earlier, with just a few lines of JavaScript code, you can develop a very robust application to scan documents from uh, Twain scanners, same scanners, or ICA compatible scanners. And also, we have a built-in editor, or you can choose to edit, uh, scan images, or save them uh, to a local uh, machine or a server, or even uh, document repositories. And we'll go into a little more details about uh, Dynamic Web Twain. And here are some highlights. So Dynamic Web Twain is a truly cross-platform, cross-browser SDK. And you can just build one, you just need one SDK, and all of your end users on different platforms and browsers are all supported. So we support Windows, Mac, and Linux. And for browsers, we have IE, Edge, Chrome, Firefox, and Safari. All the uh, modern browsers are supported by our SDK. And one of the main features of Dynamic Web Twain is that it's built with data security and integrity in mind. As many of our customers scan very sensitive documents across many industries, such as banking and healthcare. So security features such as data encryption, storing scanned images in memory. Uh, we're also HIPAA compliance, H-I-P-A-A. -A. And also we support HTTPS uploading and downloading to make sure that your data is safe. And once you deploy our SDK onto your own server, there is no communication between our, um, your, the SDK to our server whatsoever. And we support ent enterprise-grade work volume. So you can literally scan thousands of pages at a time, as long as, as, long as you have the physical uh, memory on your machine, because local caching is supported. Um, in a nutshell, Dynamic Web Twain is a client-side component that gets installed on a client's machine. So it can be very easily integrated into any web application using different languages. Um, the popular ones being HTML, JavaScript, jQuery, DBScript. And on the server side, we support many languages as well, uh, JSP, ASP, PHP. And to make your document management app even more powerful, we offer many different add-on components to Dynamic Web Twain, um, such as PDF Rasterizer that allows the conversion between text-based PDFs to image-based PDFs. We also have a very powerful barcode reading 
um, all drew a week before, Wendy 2D barcodes. And one very useful scenario is batch scanning using barcodes as separators. So you can have multiple documents and they're separated by a single page with barcode. And if you put all of your documents in the um, automatic um, in, in the scanner and they'll get automatically scanned, separated, and formatted into, and you can also uh, program in a way that will get automatically saved into different um, repositories or folders on your server. And uh, we also have an OCR module as well. Um, for, for example, scanning uh, invoices, we can automatically extract text information from an invoice, such as invoice number, and save them to a specific location at your preference on the server. So that, those are the highlights. Now we can talk about, just touch base a little bit on uh, how this module is priced. Um, Dynamic Web 20 is licensed on a per server basis. So each server will require a, product, a server license, and there's no limit on the number of um, end users that connect to your server. And the alt browsers on Windows being our most popular uh, bundles that our customers usually use is $21.99 per production server license, and that gets you access to all of the features um, I just mentioned. Okay, and uh, now if you like what you've seen so far, um, our the next step is to try it out for yourself and see how do you like it. So uh, what you can do is, let me just bring up the page here. If you go on our website, and let me just click here, go on our website, www.dynamsoft.com, and the first product being Dynamic Web Twain. And on the right-hand corner here, you can click Download. That will take you to our trial download. And you will be downloading our 30-day free trial SDK, and it will have a trial license embedded and you can get started on your evaluation or even your implementation right away. Um, I can also show you uh, how to navigate to different resources on our website just in case you want to hop on and get started right away. Uh, you can, uh, here's our code gallery. As I mentioned, this is a very powerful document scanning uh, suite. And we have different types of uh, um, samples here using different languages, and you can filter them uh, accordingly. And also to our Dev Center, we have a lot of uh, knowledge base articles. Um, here you can see a full list of our APIs that you have available to you. Um, yeah, so basically, as I promised, I'll catch this very short and sweet. And this is all I have prepared for you today. And uh, that will leave the rest of the time for a Q&A. So feel free to call in and enable your audio, or you can simply type a question um, in a chat window here. Is there anything else that you want to see? Um, feel free to let me know. So the question is, does the 30-day trial include the barcode functionality? And the answer is yes. So when you download the 30-day uh, free trial, uh, we have all the add-ons uh, available that you can try out, all the ones that I mentioned, the barcode, PDF, rasterizer, and the OCR as well. So I see a comment here um, that says, I have an existing app with images. Can Dynamic Web 20 load files that are not uploaded using Dynamic Web 20 instead using 
um, instead use our existing images. Um, if I'm understanding this question correctly, do you mean if you would like to load in any images that are not generated or saved by dynamic web plane? Uh, yes, so you can load in any images. Um, choose one here. So this is a, an image that I just found on the internet uh, in the form of JPEG. So I can easily load it into uh, Dynamic Web Twin Viewer and then save them or upload them to the server. I hope that answers your question. Just give me a yes or no. Or do you have any follow-up questions? Okay, I'll be here for the remainder of our 30 minutes here. And if you have any, any questions, feel free to uh, enable your audio or type them in the chat window. And uh, if you have any questions later on, you feel free to uh, email us at support at dynamsoft.com. Or um, you can see here with the chat window, uh, we're just one, win uh, one click away. And um, also give us a call. Um, if everybody's good, I'm gonna. Oh, I see. See a lot of questions here. Sorry about that. Let me just scroll down here. Uh, from loading from existing document repository. Do you mean uh, from your server or loading from local? You can see we can load from uh, uh, from from your local machine. Uh, does the product support scanning to multi-page PNG? PNG does not uh, uh, a default. We don't support multi-page PNG, but we do support multi-page TIFF. Just the PNG uh, file formatting itself does not support multi-page. Uh, the PDF support needs extra license. But, um, I assume you mean the PDF rasterizer that converts text-based PDF to image-based PDF. Um, yes. So this is a small extra um, add-on component to the dynamic Web Twain core module. So uh, the question is, if our web app is deployed to six servers, then we need to buy six licenses for dynamic Web Twain. And the answer is yes. So for every server that you deploy our SDK onto, you require a server license. However, we do have volume discounts as well as bundle discounts. Uh, we have a uh, unlimited server license. Um, if that is applicable and more economical for your um, for your deployment needs. So here's our pricing for the unlimited server deployment. So did I answer everybody's question? Uh, if I missed your question, feel free to type it out again. Um, the chat window here is really small. I'm sorry if I've missed your question. Um, I already answered the multi-page PNG, and the answer is no. OK, so I don't see any more questions in our chat window. So. Thank you so much for being here. I really enjoyed um, presenting this to you. And if everybody uh, don't have any questions right now, um, I'd really appreciate uh, if you can spend 30 seconds to fill out a feedback survey in order for us to improve on what we do. I'd highly appreciate it. So I'll be sending the link to the feedback survey in the chat window here. So as I mentioned earlier, I will be staying here for the remainder seven minutes of our time scheduled here. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know now or later by emailing or 
uh, joining us in a live chat session. Otherwise, I thank everybody for being here today with me. Um, thank you.